hello and welcome to this session on how to prepare uh, with the last five months horizon to the cat does it make sense to take a target to go to the top b schools in the country like the best of the ims when only five months approximately are remaining on the horizon uh, my name is shvetank and i'll take you through this particular talk and discussion on uh, how we can decidedly and clearly prepare for an examination of this level of difficulty with some systematic preparation uh, customized guidance and regular hard work obviously it is not an easy game uh, india is a land of opportunities it's a growing economy there are more and more i am and i am like institutions opening every year and the placement data is very encouraging especially from the top brands like iams or xlri and even the other private colleges like the symbiosis group of colleges or narsimonji group of colleges so there is no shortage uh, but uh, plenty of time students hesitate in terms of whether five months would be enough or not so i am here to take you through some kind of a preparation tip or a discussion regarding how best you can approach uh, these examinations so let's get started uh, first question on our minds generally is that uh, would five months be enough uh, we need to have a clear cut understanding of what is it that is needed to be able to crack these examination one in terms of preparation areas and course coverage uh, how much do you do in terms of practice and reading second is in terms of the level of difficulty of an examination not only do we want to learn some of these new areas or topics and chapters for example for some of you maybe vocabulary in english language would be slightly new for some of you maybe revising maths concepts of school days class 8 9 10th uh, those concepts revision would be new so one is getting back to the knowledge required second is the level of difficulty of the examination and uh, once we understand this uh, we then look at the preparation patterns and suggestions over the next five months and then we can make a good judgment about the point two on this slide which is how much preparation time do you really need to cover this kind of a difficulty and then the mood question is that would you take the call whether five months is enough for preparation or not in our opinion as coaching class trainers over the last several decades now as an established uh, training center for cat and im levels as seen in our results uh, we strongly feel that yes there are students who join us regularly over the last five months of preparation uh, anything which is very short like only about three months left for the cat that sometimes might be too power packed but five months is decidedly good enough in our opinion and experience not only cat but also many other national level examinations so cat is almost like the biblical reference to if you want to do an mba in india then you decidedly look at an examination like the cat of the iams but it's not just the iams that take the cat score but there are close to 40 to 50 very good private schools with upwards of 10 lakh rupees average package for the whole batch who also take the cat score similarly there is an another premier college called xlri uh, in Jamshedpur, now they have a Delhi campus also, and uh, they conduct their own examination called Xavier's Admission Test, which is XAT. The Symbiosis group of colleges conduct the Symbiosis National Aptitude Test, which is the SNAP examination. There are multiple campuses in the country, different specialized colleges also for MBA, like an MBA in Telecom, MBA in HR, so on and so forth. And uh, Narsi Monji group of colleges, they also have multiple campuses. And there are other examinations also which happen in due course of time cat generally is the most difficult competitive or the most aspired for examination but these other examinations like xat snap and mat they also happen from end of october all the way till january first or second week the examinations like uh, cmat or cuvt uh, post graduation course etc these are the ones uh, where uh, uh, students have slightly longer horizon of preparation because these exams clearly happen across January, February and March. There are handful of very good colleges which are available through the CMAT, CUVT, PG. In fact, there are many private colleges who also allow you admission opportunities based on your performance in the examinations, not only through a CAT score or a percentile that you can apply to them, but you could have also applied to these colleges through a CMAT examination or an XAT examination. So apart from the IMs, which will solely look at CAT or XLRI, which will solely look at XAT or the Symbiosis group of colleges, which will have their own exam like SNAP, there are many other good private colleges who offer good quality MBA courses in the country who allow you admission opportunities by submitting a good scorecard that you can get either in the CAT or XAT or a CMAT and things like these. So these other examinations are also as much on the horizon for an MBA aspirant, 
though you decidedly want to go to the best of the colleges you'll work hard towards that but clearly a wise man does not put all the eggs in one basket so therefore you would look at backup examinations in a schedule like that uh, is it too difficult to get inside the top B schools because of the level of difficulty of the paper or the concentration of top performing people across the country, several lakhs people who like write the CAT examination, two and a half lakh, close to that number last year. So um, we'll have to look at how the top B schools look at your performances in the various test areas and there would be a minimum cutoff score that you have to achieve. You would not end up being a good managerial candidate in top B schools by virtue of only your performance in uh, good performance in English or good performance in maths. You'll have to do both. Similarly, intelligence and puzzle solving in terms of logical reasoning, data interpretation, which is the third section in the CAC, which is also there in other examinations. Uh, all good colleges would look at a balanced profile as in uh, though you want to get a very high total score but you will have to achieve a bare minimum performance which is what a so-called cutoff or a percentile is and cutoff is not really a solid score it depends on the difficulty of the examination if i give you a very difficult examination today then i am sure at an average across the country the scores would fall if I make a paper which is slightly moderate and easier or definitely doable, then the number of attempts and accuracy across the country also will improve. So in absence of any prediction on a likely paper, which is exactly going to happen, maybe in the month of November, December, January, uh, it is important to systematically prepare and practice mock tests in such a manner that you are able to understand that are you there in the top so much percentage performers in the country and that gives you the confidence or the improvement in that direction gives you the confidence that you are able to clear that minimum expected cutoff. Um, as an example for general category students, the most of the cutoffs are in the range of 80 odd percentile. So at least you should get 80 odd percentile in each of the testing areas that the paper will throw at you. This does not mean that by just by getting 80, 80, 80, somebody can land up at a top B school like an IMM, the Birth, Bangalore or a Calcutta. You would need to improve your total score also, which would mean apart from clearing the three cutoffs in the three testing areas of English, Mathematics, Data Interpretation and Logical Reasoning, you might also need to jump up your total score by doing exceedingly well, maybe in an English or a combination of English and Maths, maybe a com combination of all three of them. Maybe you would get 95 percentile in each of the sections and that would push your percentile to 98 plus, which is good enough to get close to 15 out of the 21 IM calls, like we saw in CAT 2023 examinations, which recently have concluded in terms of the exam of last year November, the GDPI training and the interviews actually for the IMs that happened in February and March and now the admissions are very nearly finalized. Second aspect uh, of difficulty can be uh, while we prepare for the aptitude test, many candidates are hesitant about uh, how will I prepare for group discussions or essay writing or interview process of various B schools including IIMs. This is also not a very difficult activity. In fact, a large part of your CAT English language preparation will encourage you to do a lot of reading. Uh, something I shared with you today in my talk. And that would also systematically improve your expression skills in English language in terms of essay writing. Group discussions are not a part of the IIMs anymore and for many other private B schools, they give you a debatable topic, they make you write an essay in the second stage. Once you clear the written test and you get an interview shortlist, then along with an interview, many colleges will give you a topic on which you will have to write. Apart from that, personal interviews are largely linked to your academic or working executive uh, profile background where you have worked, what projects you have done and there would be some fluency improvement or presentation skill improvements that might be needed and this is precisely where after the written test there is a clear one two three month horizon depending upon which institutes are calling you for an interview so you might actually face an interview by mid of february you might actually face interviews in end of march and april like it happened this year so there is considerable time and preparation available and the systematic training is available across the country so i don't think that should be an issue you should not bother a bit too much about the secondary aspect of the second stage right now because there is enough uh, number of there are enough number of resources and enough support available now the point number three in the slide is important to answer this question is it too difficult to get inside the IMs and top B schools uh, the difficulty of the paper uh, varies every year there is no prediction to how difficult this year's CAT is going to be and can we totally and only rely on the last year's CAT examination or last three years CAT examination these examinations are a test of your aptitude, your inherent ability to debate and know methods 
and have the right calculation speed when you attempt English section or the mathematics section or the DI and the LR section and uh, how well aware are you of the methods but the level of difficulty of question and sections can vary across the years and we have seen fair number of surprises every two three years in terms of suddenly either the paper question pattern changes in terms of the time limit available total questions available or sometimes the difficulty level of a section suddenly shoots up so for example if you look at an examination like cat 2023 which happened last year the surprise difficulty in terms of an unexpected improvement in terms of challenge being posed was the mathematics section so out of 22 odd questions that came in the mathematics section even if you did close to 10 or 11 questions right you were able to get to a 99 percentile performance which means you're in the top one percent people performing in the cat examination in the country in maths but the same number of 10 or 11 correct two years ago in CAT 22 would not have gotten you a 99 percentile. So clearly the difficulty levels can change. Sometimes it, it becomes moderate also. It's not necessary that every time everything is going to be equal in difficulty. English section, for example, in general has been a much more scoring section in terms of contribution to total score and therefore total percentile as compared to the DI section or the math section. So difficulty level of the paper is something that is going to be a yardstick in your own preparation, the mocks that you write, the self preparation that you do. You might uh, decidedly want to make a plan over the next five months in such a manner that without compromising on any loophole which is left behind in terms of fundamentals. For example, you can't say I don't know vocabulary or I will just not do grammar or I will just not do reading on economics or philosophy passages. I'll do other types of reading comprehension passages. You cannot do that. So knowledge inputs are a must exposure levels to all the fun fundamental areas are a must um, all topics of algebra or arithmetic or geometry are a must uh, you cannot leave behind anything and you would also want to systematically have a preparation where a higher level difficulty is achieved in training material and the test that you write and exposure and there's a lot of learning in the struggle with those questions so when you struggle with a question or a coaching class booklet or an all india mock cat sectional test one particular caselet uh, that struggle is beneficial in the long run for an ultimate examination like the cat which will happen in november end so uh, new and new learnings for more complicated and challenging questions developing stamina all these things are in the right direction when we talk about difficulty level of the paper second point of difficulty of any examination is because of the competition that happens amongst the candidates so there are a lot of bright people in the country who are aspiring for these aptitude driven examination like the cat uh, so many people so many graduates so many working executives would love to be part of the top IMs. So therefore, there is no shortage of talent. Uh, there are people who might have begun preparation 10 months ago, 7 months ago, 12 months ago, 1.5 years ago. Sometimes there are there are a small fraction of people who are repeaters in CAT who are not happy with their previous preparation or percentile, they prepare again. So sometimes students face this psychological setback in their mind that would 5 months be enough to target such a difficult examination when my competition around me is likely to be far, far brighter. Not to worry, we have many examples of students and I share a couple of success stories where last five month horizon, despite a very average profile or some kind of a compromise with English medium education or background or maybe non maths background students have been able to work systematically and really get very, very high percentage. So uh, from an expert opinion point of view, would five months really pose a challenge to really be able to go to the best of the preschool? The answer is no, because we clearly have statistical evidence of so many candidates who are not repeaters, uh, who don't have great skill in each of the testing areas already and then they begin CAT preparation. I'm talking about those students who had some major compromises, who had taken a drop year or whose academic grades were not good, but they still worked very hard and got an excellent percentile to the tune of 99.3, 99.4 as a general category example to be able to get interview shortlist from the top IMs. Candidates with non mass background uh, joining our All India Mock Cat test series and facing a sudden spurt in difficulty in the mathematics area and getting negative scores and eventually getting uh, 14 out of the 18 IM calls. I'm talking about a couple of years ago when there were 18 IMs. So clearly no is the answer. Um, it's not going to be an easy job. I don't want to sound like a teacher or, a, or an expert on cat who says that uh, you just have to just believe in yourself, uh, join us for the training. No, it is not just about blind motivation. You'll have to systematically work hard also. 
everybody would have an ambition but an ambition or your ability to just join a coaching class might not be enough you'll have to systematically follow the advice given and do the required hard work in the areas that you discover the preparation areas largely uh, for a five month horizon would be exactly as per the needs of the examination so you would have a verbal ability and reading comprehension section which is the english section verbal ability is more about your knowledge of english as a language in terms of vocabulary in terms of idioms phrases some basic grammar even though direct grammar questions are not coming in the cat but they do come in some of the other examinations i mentioned earlier like the symbiosis group of colleges or the xlri xdt examination so on and so forth so uh, and some area of critical reasoning uh, jumbled statements have to be interlinked properly to be able to make a paragraph so then your ability to understand the tone of the statements and the exact uh, hint of the meaning of the difficult vocabulary words if they come or there are proverbs or idioms used out there so there is some knowledge improvement required to be able to in general do very well with verbal ability reading comprehension as the name suggests is about unseen passages you will get passages from uh, anywhere between four to six kind of passages uh, pre covid uh, we used to have six passages in cat of late the trend has been four passages in the cat we'll have to wait and see what cat 24 will do but the passages will be on a particular theme and they are not interesting storylines. They are non-fiction passages. It's a passage or an essay or an argument being presented on sociology, on law and order in a society. It's about analyzing human behavior in societies in the, in, in the year of 1965. So passages might not be contemporary from what you read or experience in social media or society or the newspapers today. So therefore, reading habit will have to be widened. And I'll explain to you today how, how best we can do it. And after the passages, some questions are there relevant to those passages. What does the author really want to say? What could be the title of the passage? Which of the following options do you think the author is most likely to endorse or oppose? Things like these. So based on the comprehension that you achieve while you were reading that passage, you'll have to answer those questions. DILR. This is a section on data interpretation and logical reasoning. Uh, variety of data representations in terms of tables or line graphs or bar graphs or pie charts and some other varieties and logical reasoning caselets where you use your intelligence to solve a puzzle on seating arrangement or calendars or some table formation and distribution on five friends coming from five cities wearing five different color shirts and some clues are given to really find out who was wearing which color shirt and those varieties uh, in the examination like cat over the last about three to four years, the distinction between what can be called data interpretation, understanding data representation and doing calculations and finding out what's the correct ratio, which company will achieve the highest profitability. So the distinction between data interpretation oriented caselets and logical reasoning and puzzle solving caselets is blurring. So in the CAT examination nowadays, uh, quite a few caselets are there in the available final examination paper where there is certain degree of reasoning and intelligence needed and certain degree of calculation ability and data understanding is needed. But the other examinations, like I mentioned, the XLRI XZT examination, the Symbiosis SNAP paper, the Narsimoji and MAT examination, excellent MBA colleges in themselves, they clearly are continuing, at least as per the historical trend line till very recently, till last year, on certain caselets and calculation based questions, which are clearly data interpretation oriented and the other ones logical reasoning oriented. In your training, you'll have to start with fundamentals. You'll learn each type, each variety, learn methods and approaches to understand. And then gradually, as you jack up the difficulty member uh, level, you'll be able to therefore tune yourself to a CAT level requirement or the requirement of other examinations. Mathematics, quantitative ability. This is the third big area of preparation for a written test. And uh, from percentages, profit and loss, numbers, LCM, HCF, and their application and advanced problems, finding remainders, problems on digits, uh, questions on simple interest, compound interest, calculating equal monthly installments of a particular compounding interest bank loan given, very realistic. In fact, a huge part of our advice to candidates who are preparing with us and will be preparing with us for the last five, next five months is that the examination is directly in sync with what you need as skills to do very well in the managerial subjects that you would learn on the MBA college campus. And therefore, you should not look at it purely as a one-stop effort because these skills are going to stay with you for a large part of knowledge absorption when you attend the MBA colleges. So all the mathematical abilities in arithmetic or algebra, time and work, time speed distance, uh, 
geometry concepts on spatial imagination, understanding properties, uh, finding out how many ways are there of doing something, are we making logical errors, are we missing some counting. So the application of permutation and combination in scenario building uh, and financial modeling in the future. So all these things are going to be very, very relevant in the long run. The mathematics chapters, uh, nearly 90% of the questions and topics that are covered in the aptitude test examination like CAT are mostly from lower maths, which would mean class 10th level mathematics. There are a handful of chapters uh, where you would need a slight exposure to 11 standard mathematics of school days. Uh, and there are students with non maths background who people who have maybe left mathematics behind in their school days after 10th. They also have been able to learn and cover up. So that's not too much of an issue. Now, you, you will need to look at a wide variety of training inputs and different tools to be able to really uh, jack up your preparation for the MBA entrance examinations like the CAT. One is you would need systematic study material and training inputs through some kind of a classroom learning so that you learn face to face with expert faculty members and you have a reasonably good number of questions across different varieties of questions so that different concepts and their applications in different ways, everything is learned during the struggle and the practice. So that in the examination, there are hardly any questions that pose a challenge to you in terms of, you have absolutely no recognition and ability in terms of how to approach that kind of a question. That is point number one. Uh, second is, um, you might also look at some kind of additional support on video classes and doubt clearing or revision of some concepts. In peak preparation, what happens is, especially when the horizon is just about four or five months, is that uh, we are very rapid in our course coverage and systematic practice. So as a student, we would feel that what I studied one month back or two months back, I'm, 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 I'm slightly losing out in terms of memory. So once in a while, as you will discover some of these pitfalls, you might want to have access to video backups or classes so that you can revise concepts. Uh, you would want to have regular doubt clearing support, uh, friends, seniors, teachers, coaching class people, uh, like at time we do it on Telegram, uh, there is 24 hour doubt clearing available, things of that nature. So um, as quickly as possible, something that you are struggling with to understand in terms of an English language test you wrote or an exercise you attempted and you have a difference of opinion with the examinations author or the answer key and therefore you want to debate with the faculty member to find out where exactly are you going wrong in understanding. So all this should be available. And uh, the last point goes without saying because the examination is a national level examination. You want to be part of a national level test series, especially something like AIMCATS, uh, which is you know historically the most successful examination uh, for the CAT kind of a thing. In terms of CAT toppers, we produce so many city toppers, we produce and the number of iron call gets, gets that we generate. So not only a good test series, but you should have solid data driven analysis in terms of where are you losing against the competition? Uh, which questions are they doing? Which are the ones that you spend time on? Could you have avoided some of your questions so that you could have solved two more questions instead of one question right now? So you would have got slightly more marks in the examination and more marks would mean jumping in the ranks and jumping in the percentile. So these things clearly would be part of your next five months horizon of preparation if you choose to decide that way. Um, as, a, as a basic advice, your training must cover what are the things that your training must cover? So it should have very good focus on concepts. Uh, it will be absolutely futile to just look at a good collection of questions through some random data bank or a publisher who publishes guides on CAT and so on and so forth. And your basic concepts are not clear. So you are always learning by attempting maybe a moderate or a difficult question from a question bank, but there is nobody to explain to you how this concept works in a particular manner here, but does not work in a particular manner there. For example, if, if I just verbally give you an example, uh, Boats and streams and time, speed and distance. River is also flowing and a boat is also there in the river and the boat could go upstream against the flow of the water and boat could go downstream with the flow of the water. Uh, and then the concept of relative speed that uh, somebody sitting on a train is watching the platform. Now, the platform is in reality stationary, but the person is moving along with the train. Now the concept of relative speed does not apply in boat and streams because out there the concept is effective speed. So we should not use the formulae and the concepts of relative speed when it comes to boats and streams. Relative speed is 
relative to one point of view what's the speed of the other person or the other object that kind of a thing so uh, in a downstream boat and river the speed of the river and the speed of the boat would both get added so it becomes an effective speed they are moving in the same direction but the speed is added while in relative speed when two motorcyclists are moving in the same direction and i want to calculate relative speed of one motorcycle with respect to the other then i am not going to add them then i am going to subtract the smaller one from the larger one similarly there are countless such examples especially in mathematics and reasoning where basic concepts are important you should look at a training or a module where no conceptual loophole is left unattended that is one point i would strongly make sure uh, despite your comfort with mathematics or comfort with english language go through a training where concepts are revised they are cemented and all the loopholes are covered uh um, you should look at things like doubt sessions and many other additional seminars that you would need in the last 5 months not only how to prepare make a personalized timetable in fact many of you during the preparation will discover that you are not equally good or equally bad in all the three testing areas within mathematics also you might not be equally good or equally bad in all the individual chapters and topics so uh where to disproportionately give slightly more time in your preparation how to draw a different type of weekly timetable this week how to draw a different type of fortnightly timetable by the end of this month so you should have these kind of sessions and seminar support on test taking strategies once you are in a position to look at a healthy number of questions in a mock test then how should you scan how should you select the questions and many other varieties uh, how to fill the b school forms descriptive questions and answers in b school forms and uh, how to correlate your performance and preparation in the examination stages uh, to the deadlines of the application form should you spend lot of money on these colleges should you instead target these exams in the other colleges so and so forth um, you would also have a continuous access or something like a student home page like we generate at time so it's an online repository of huge number of things past cat papers and past snap papers and analysis and you would have extra reading links on english a collection of mathematical formulae online sectional tests apart from study material booklets that you will get at the coaching center so uh, there is an online individualized access to every candidate you must really look forward to having this in your study plan as a tool which is going to be a very good collection of a wide variety of things that you can plan for your daily and weekly timetables and uh, like we also generate topic wise videos when you want to revise a particular example or a theory or a concept uh, and these are not full length to our classes but there are 15 20 25 minute kind of videos on one particular concept within one particular chapter for example if i talk about numbers there is separate video on digit related properties and problems separate videos on remainders related properties and problems so on and so forth you should also look at section wise testing it is it is one thing to study every concept every chapter every topic within english grammar classes vocabulary classes reading comprehension tips a training on philosophy passages training on economics passage a training on management writers and different types of writing styles so it's one thing to study everything topic by topic maths also topic by topic dilr also different types of puzzles and dis pie chart classes or a bar graph class or a spider graph class similarly sitting arrangement or games and tournament but you want all this to come together so instead of waiting for the mock cat all india level ranking high level difficulty training test to happen once a week you should have section wise testing and at time we have different levels so we have foundation test which are on every single chapter and topic which are timed and clogged so that you build speed now so you have attended the classes you have done the study material booklets you must do timing yourself are you fast enough in repeatedly doing the foundation level easy level questions then you go to intermediate and advanced tests which as the wording suggests are higher difficulty in that order where multiple topics are combined and put together so you start getting a feeling of a section where all the 15 questions all the 20 questions are not from one topic of number theory only now it's a combination of 6 7 topics of mathematics and you start getting a feeling of how to scan how to select am i Uh, am i making a good judgment in spending 3 minutes on this question on profit and loss instead of that shouldn't i have spent 2 minutes on the geometry question which came later which was much easier for me so things like these on a daily basis can start refining your approach towards the entire full length paper this is an example of how 
we do it at time uh, you can find uh, how you can best access something like this where across different testing areas as the screen image suggests you can select test and there are huge number of tests available so there is no shortage of training and you can pinpoint which topics you are weak with so you start with foundation level test which topics you have mastered and therefore you are ready to do intermediate and advanced level tests you also would need finally all this to come together in a very competitive and realistic test series so at times we at, at time we have a, a, a gold standard so to say in terms of you know over 115 cat 100 percent tyler ever since the cat scorecard started coming out so cat 2004 is the first time when publicly every candidate got a cat scorecard which is uh, pretty much the norm nowadays everybody gets to know their scorecard when the exam results are out so whether you got an 80 percentile or an 85 percentile or a 99 percentile uh, we have generated the uh, maximum number of cat toppers historically put together including the last year's cat examination also so uh, all India mock cats are a gold standard. It brings together students across close to 100 odd cities in the country with a huge number of test takers. And with the results that time generates uh, that I'll talk about towards the end of my talk, uh, you would like to meet such capable people during your weekly training with such mock papers so that you are uh, getting the taste of the real cat level difficulty even before the month of November hits you. So there are two types of aim cats that we give. One is a self-administered aim cat, which are basically uh, replica level difficulty of the older cat patterns and high level difficulty. Gives you a very good idea of different types of patterns and the surprises the cat has thrown. And there also with analysis, you'll be able to get that with our expertise at the back end, what kind of a rank or a percentile you're likely to get for that uh, aim cat self-administered package. There are 25 of them. Then further, there are going to be 25 new All India Mock Cats with All India Ranking, which are conducted every week. And this is going to be your acid test with meeting the current crop of time students across the country and uh, trying to match high percentiles as much as possible. Um, and the analysis that follows after this, and there's a huge amount of analysis available to be able to pinpoint your exact weaknesses. You might technically think that I'm okay with RC, my reading speed is okay. But when we look at the analysis and comparison on time spent per question with many other candidates, we'll be able to pinpoint, are you deliberately fastening yourself up? Are you being too slow in reading passages? Should you not focus on only two RC passages out of four? A lot of strategy improvements can happen when you look at an All India mock cat. So this is something you should definitely look at a very good all India level test series if you're looking at next five months worth of preparation. Uh, I've already spoken about this. So uh, we have a team of uh, close to 40 IIT IM graduates at time nationally who are think tanks behind designing MCATs and contributing to changes and throwing surprises and all these things. Uh, the reason why MCATs are so popular across the country is because uh, they realistically bring about the surprise factors, a lot of learning, even for good students who consistently perform in MCAT number 20, 19, 18, suddenly might get a shock factor in MCAT number 17. And that would force them to rethink a part of their preparation and improve a part of their uh, elevation in knowledge levels. Uh, so I'll go next. Um, this is a huge variety focus that we have in MCATs. MCATs are not static, like quite a few other test series. So, uh, we, we, we try and do a lot of these things. We are guided by over uh, over a decade of cat trends. Uh, we are able to read uh, to a large extent in which direction the latest trends in cat are pointing to, which sections are likely to be difficult. For example, in the beginning of this talk, I told you that the quant section last year in the actual cat became difficult that even 10 questions got you a 99 percentile plus kind of a score. There were four in cats last year where we had deliberately given quant at that high level of difficulty where time students also struggled with only 9-10 questions going right to be able to get 99 plus percentile. So when the training was happening, uh, it, it was an exposure to a likely thing that can happen in the future. And in that particular case of Cat 23 example, the math section did become that difficult. Now the section becomes difficult, that does not mean that students should get disheartened. Everybody's attempts fall down, everybody's score falls down. You need to make sure that you're ready for these varieties when you face the actual examination. So that's what an IMCAT would do. And uh, every type of difficulty level, there will be a section and a class. We have IMCAT discussion strategy videos and analysis videos so that you can learn from the experts 
a huge number of faculty members across the time centers in the country are IM graduates, IIT graduates. They are, you know, as high as CAT 100% tilers in their teaching areas and sections. So you'll, you'll have tremendous benefit when you get to the level of something like an IMCAT and you look at the analysis and the strategy videos. Uh, even a small jump in something like an IMCAT or an actual CAT also eventually by the time you reach that horizon of November uh, can lead to a huge jump in percentile. So we understand that time, not every student would be able to go to an IIM Ahmedabad. There are a limited number of seats. Not everybody can make it to the top 10 IIMs because of limited seats. So there are fair number of seats available, close to about seven and a half to quarter to 8,000 kind of a number. Uh, admissions available. Uh, the number of students who would get shortlist to be able to get a chance for interviews will go in uh, clearly in close to 20 odd thousand. So, this also is much smaller compared to the national number of people who write the examinations. Therefore, uh, even though we would like to go to a 99, 99.5 kind of percentile or a 98 percentile, it is possible that you can get a very good B school call and get an MBA with average salaries and placements upwards of rupees 10 lakh rupees per annum for the whole batch, uh, even in colleges around 75 uh, percentile. So this is what this slide shows. In actual CAT and scorecard analysis, we easily see that if you know somebody who scored X to get 60 percentile, if that he or she would have got X plus 20 marks, that would be 80 percentile and that would be a jump of six questions. So six threes are 18 as an example. If, if you jump in that particular range, you'll be able to improve with such a big jump in percentile. And therefore, uh, even minor improvements on a weekly basis or a fortnight basis will actually push you harder towards that particular direction and achievement. Uh, reminds me that uh, we are conducting an All India uh, free mock cat for everybody to assess their level of preparedness and compete with the existing time students. So maybe this is a good opportunity for you to decide and take a call on the next five months of preparation. Do you feel really motivated and uh, do you find this challenging and interesting? Uh, now, in terms of how to really plan your preparation in the next 150 days to achieve, uh, one important uh, point would be that you should look at all types of questions. You should not just focus on this came in the last year's CAT, this came in CAT 2019. Uh, something like grammar has not come in the CAT examination ever since 2014. Therefore, maybe you will want to skip grammar practice. Don't do that. You are preparing for CAT. You have a five month horizon. You are also preparing for other good college examinations as a backup like the XLRA, XAT or the Symbiosis SNAP examination, they ask grammar. So why would you leave behind any question variety just because of a uh, little bit of internet advice and seniors talking to juniors telling that this doesn't come in the CAT. Trust us as coaching class people with over three decades of experience in training for the CAT that uh, nothing is predictable or guaranteed about certain types and questions. In fact, uh, it is a target of the IM exam paper setters and the other B school exam paper setters to ask genuinely new and new types of questions. So you should look at every type of question and our study material covers every single type from single concept to multi concept to concepts where there might be a logical flaw in blindly applying a formula or a method and therefore you should understand exceptions. Uh, and you should not ignore any variety. That is the first thing I would say in terms of preparation. Second thing I would say is that you would need uh, some clarity through classroom training and faculty interaction and also from a student homepage. This is an image on the slide about a variety of vocabulary words. If you can uh, look at uh, the cursor on the screen, I'll just try to choose a pen and for example, look at aggressive. I want to compare that with apathetic. I want to compare that with apologetic. So words might be homonym sounding similar, but they might mean very different. After reading that verbal ability paragraph on a theme summary or an RC passage, there are paragraphs with these words or tones. You need to understand whether the author was emotionless or the author was expressing emotion and that was of a remorse and accordingly which option or which word uh, can be chosen in a better kind of a manner. So. Uh, you should clearly look at support systems and knowledge improvements in English. 
mathematics and di reasoning sections in the next five months preparation would have a clear cut approach you can attend a class you can get a concept you can learn a formula or a method you can repeatedly apply it because it's very logic oriented but language is subjective it depends on point of view it depends upon the wordings used it depends upon uh, from where you are reading it and the, how the author was writing it. Therefore, language would be a skill that will take longer to improve. That's why I'm showing some of these things in terms of next five months preparation that you should focus on. Don't just blindly say, I have to attend 10 classes. I have to do three exercises. No, not just that. Focus on improving language as a whole. Um, you would also want to look at uh, reading uh, habits, which are available, let's say on time website. We have categorized non-fiction passages of the language level and difficulty level in various areas. This is just a snapshot of some of the article links available under science. We have under technology, we have under humanity subjects, society, anthropology, arts and culture. And you would need to start developing stamina on clicking these links and looking at different types of issues on which some kind of an essay and argument is presented. Now, for many MB aspirants who are in the age bracket of 21, 22 years to about 24, 25 years, depending on what your age bracket is. Uh, generally, this kind of reading is not very interesting. So it's not entertainment, but it's towards preparation. So you would want to also occupy your preparation over the next five months to additionally supplement your reading habits and not just stay limited to only one good newspaper. A lot of people read newspapers, the Indian Express, the Hindu, the Times of India, depending on your beginner or advanced levels. But a newspaper would cover only certain type of genres. You must diversify because the reading comprehension pathogens in the cat actually go much, much beyond the newspaper coverage. Newspapers generally get a politics or a society or a law and order or international trade or international political news or election coverages, sports news. So. Uh, you know, beyond about five to six management or economy news, stock market news on the business page. Beyond five or six genres, newspaper doesn't give you that variety. Second point with newspaper reading would be that it will be contemporary. It will only talk about things which are happening now. Very rarely, rarest of the rare cases, you might get an editorial on an article which is referring to something that happened 50 years ago, 40 years ago, or something about the future as a science fiction. So. Uh, you need to really diversify because the cat reading comprehension passages actually come from different ages and many more genres compared to what you get in newspapers. Uh, during training, uh, you would also need to get trained sometimes in the reasoning section and sometimes in the English section on something that I'm calling option elimination, two close options. So uh, two options sound similar to the passage of the paragraph and things like these then you should develop debating skills. It is not enough to just discover after a test or an exercise practice that I got it wrong. This is the logic they have given. Okay, I have attempted 10, seven right, three wrong. No, no, why are those three wrong? We don't want to get even three wrong. While you were attempting it, you would like to be much more confident about your argument skills and your ability to differentiate between options. And if you have a disagreement with the answer, uh, then you should definitely approach faculty members to be able to really explain where is it that you're interpreting it differently and you still disagree with the logic or the argument given in the answer in terms of why option three is better than option four. You might still be thinking option four is better than option three. So this is an important thing in next five months training. It's crucial for not only students who are starting now, it's also crucial for students who have already started earlier, but might be facing this problem in English especially. So um, you should uh, you should read a lot of topics. I have already given you a snapshot in an earlier slide in this video. Uh, these are the things that we offer you at time. So this will be additionally available on your student homepage. And English language as a whole, like I said, in fact, the entire CAD preparation is towards that MBA curriculum and doing justice to it as a student. Your mathematical skills should be good. Your data computation skills should be good. Your reasoning problems, puzzle solving should be good. Your language skills should be good. And look at this entire uh, scope of English language, which is going to be very, very important. So not only written test, but after the shortlisting process of the written test, the essay writing that you would do, or the communication skills and SOPs that you will write in, why do I want to do an MBA and the interview answers you'll prepare for personal interview questions. Then uh, during the program also, much better submissions in your reports and projects that you would do. So in general, it's a good skill to have, have a long-term view and invest with that degree of commitment. 
in mathematics preparation you must clearly know all the methods we cannot say that you can i am okay with the polygons but only concave uh, convex polygons i am not good with concave polygons or i am okay with triangles and circles but quadrilaterals are a bit too many for me because there are too many of them there are too many properties if we break down it conceptually quadrilaterals 99% of the properties will actually come from triangles and the remaining 1 or 2% may be from circles because you can have a cyclic quadrilateral and things like these so in fact lot of these learning is interlinked so if a concepts are very very clear at the fundamental level the next level becomes easier but it is incremental work i fully agree it is incremental work but then if you want to go to the best of the colleges like i am why would you be shying away from hard work so add on to your knowledge it is going to give you an edge in the examination section uh, keep that horizon rather than the feeling of frustration or mental tiredness because only 5 months are left there is so much reading to be done so it's not a cake walk within 5 months we have seen students Uh, starting from very average scores and going to as high as 99.8, 99.37, 99.6, and getting these wonderful IM calls. So that's not an issue. You should also practice enough so that you know there is a fair degree of recall in terms of the formula. You cannot do something in the month of July and forget about it in the month of end of August or beginning September because for many months I am out of touch with it. So uh, keep doing those sectional tests like I told you, and focus on interlinked concepts. this is very very important you must focus on interlinked concepts because of late in mathematics especially the cat examination not really the xlri xit or the snap or the narsimo ji and mat exam but in the cat especially it is becoming true that uh, uh, a particular question would require multiple concepts for example there is geometrical shape of a quadrilateral on the boundary of the quadrilateral let's say a race is being run or two ants are moving towards each other from opposite directions so there would be a time speed distance concept on distance and relative speed and how they approach towards each other how much time would they take to cross each other or meet each other there would be a geometry property on calculating the perimeter or the length of diagonal or some property given using which you will be able to find the length and there might be an unknown variable in the process and there would be a simple equation to be solved so let the unknown variable of ant number 2 be a speed of x so now that's an unknown thing the value is not known so now you'll solve for x so there might be two to three concepts in one particular question and none of them are very difficult things that i have told you just now but you will have to do justice to your understanding in geometry understanding in time speed distance and understanding in solving simple equations in single variable so that that is that is important you should also uh, train uh, yourself on a very important point here which is basically uh, longer stamina when multiple concepts are there which we saw happening in the last year's cat quant section uh, the amount of time that it takes to really solve that question is longer so cannot become a victim of uh, generally 2 minutes per question is good enough no 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 look at the paper look at the level of difficulty of the paper scan the questions understand across the board the section is more difficult and if you discover this then in that case less number of attempts also would fetch you marks because each question would now not get solved in 2 minutes now it will get solved in 3 minutes so build yourself for greater degree of stamina in terms of struggle with the questions in fact at time our sectional tests our study material level 2 exercises in mathematics especially and aim cats they will decidedly force you to relook at such impatient or preconceived notions on 2 minutes per question 1 and 1/2 minutes per question no there is no standard rule Uh, develop greater stamina wherever needed you should still be able to solve it even though it might take you know half a minute more you cannot give up on a question midway especially if it is solvable so uh, these are some tips in terms of how you will approach these difficult examinations and how it is still possible in the next 5 odd months but you have to be systematic and clear in your mind about how you will approach in uh, di reasoning preparation you have to really be very vast with calculations once the logic of the caselet or that problem description that intelligence application is done then the method is clear to you how that question will be solved with the existing data given or the description of the puzzle given then the calculation stage part of eliminating options or doing the final calculation should not slow you down lot of times we have seen candidates looking at cat especially as an examination with high level of intelligence requirement they tend to choose logical reasoning oriented preparation much more than data interpretation oriented because calculation looks a bit boring and there is scope of a silly mistake you know because you might not be very focused you might make a mistake in a decimal number or a percentage calculation so don't compromise 
across your preparation from foundation level exposure till the end level you must build speed for calculations you must get exposed to all data types in a cat examination going by the last couple of years historical patterns there are only four dilr caselets uh, logical reasoning and data interpretation put together that third that so called section has only four caselets some kind of a puzzle is given some clues are given some data is given some points are given then five five questions are coming in one caselet so five fours are 20 questions are coming i am not predicting cat 2024 but i am telling you uh, let's say the last three years uh, data now out of the several types of dis possible and reasoning types of situations possible and puzzle solving possible which four varieties will come it's difficult to predict so you should get exposed to all types so this particular point here on all types of reasoning it could be a calendar problem it could be a family tree problem it could be a seating arrangement it could be about a workflow management how different types of work gets done before the car is finished but they are sequential you cannot put the tires till the chassis of the car is ready you cannot do the paint job in the car till the body of the car is ready how they are sequenced which is dependent on what how much time does it take what's the maximum time to finish the car what is the shortest time to finish the car there are so many varieties of puzzles possible so you should focus on every single type you should have methods and approaches understandable to you which is what will happen in the classes and through a study material don't ignore any type because like i told you just two minutes back only four caselets have been coming off late now which type of four caselets of a good level of difficulty you will finally face in the examination don't face the compromise of your life when you reach the cat examination and you discover that there are two caselets that you have never imagined never seen never practiced that was a topic or a chapter you totally left behind because you were too tied up with some work so have the focus and sincerity to make sure that all the building blocks are in their places then you should also regularly look at doing something like this which is uh, be ready for hard work if only four caselets are there and i'll give an example last year if you did two caselets right in di lr out of 20 questions you got 10 right you crossed 99 percentile easily so 99 percentile like top 1 percent performers it clears the cutoffs and contributes tremendously to your total percentile in the cat and gets you the top iim calls and in ahmedabad bangalore calcutta lucknow these kind of varieties so only two caselets in 40 odd minutes the sectional time of last year's cat for the dilr section so which means we have time provided we are able to focus and do enough hard work to finally get to the solution so you should build stamina for making scenarios don't shy away from lengthy caselets that's the nature of preparation and examination does not mean you'll be able to solve every caselet in limited time even the best of the candidates are not able to do all four caselets so this this is not a shame at all but you should not shy away from this especially for an exam like cat because the other examinations i spoke about the xlri xat or the symbiosis snap their di reasoning caselets and uh, amount uh, amount of time taken is not so high but in cat it is so you should get trained and deliberately force yourself to spend extra time and the last point which is very very important is that you know nothing can beat in cats and uh, both the varieties of aim cats you know the self administered ones and this ones uh, apart from some higher level material that i'll talk about we give you that should do the job we also conduct special workshops uh, towards the end of the course whether your horizon is a longer cat preparation or the next 5 months you are starting now you want to finish a fair amount of preparation and theoretical concepts in classes and towards the month of october and early november go through some kind of a revision Uh, this is something that time does systematically for more than a decade now it has been a value addition in a course structure where we do basic and advanced workshops on uh, uh, concept requirement or high level difficulty training and students have the options of doing these and uh, these are available in online and offline both the courses so this would be a wonderful icing on the cake in terms of topping up your preparation towards the end for the right level of difficulty um there are candidates with without having english medium background who have started with only 5 month horizon preparation with us and they have started with the uh, zero scores and negative scores in the english section in all india mock cats in the months of june july and they have further gone ahead and i am not going to give you a random motivation story right now that they got 99.99% in english no no they got 87% in english but they cleared the cutoff 
but they were reasonably okay with the mass and di area where they eventually improved further from a 85 90 percentile to a 99 percentile and in totality they got all the iam calls and similarly i told you earlier in this talk about non mass background students getting negative score in mass somebody who chose botany zoology in the cbsc 11th and 12th because that girl did not like mathematics and struggled with mathematics but eventually realized that an mba is something she would need and would like to do it from the iams and started with us in the month of june for the first three consecutive all india mock cats got negative score in the quant section so many mistakes attempted only five questions out of 20 and got three wrong things of that nature four wrong and from that stage to going to 99.67 percentile in the total score clearing all cutoffs and getting 14 out of 18 i am calls so uh, if i press my memory hard there will be countless examples because time is such a large organization across every city we'll be able to find out students who start in the last five months but one thing is important you would need to be systematic you would need to have the right kind of support you would need to spend time on your weaker areas finish study material analyze your mock test in a very very accurate manner and you might need to really use your 24 hours judiciously you might not be able to do as much college activity participation as much extracurriculars as much social media and youtube videos and internet and instagram and watching the cricket world cup because your own career is just five months ahead of you so as you discover various areas of preparation for you to additionally practice analyze reading habits to be inculcated it is definitely possible that's what these good students did this is a couple of examples have verbally quoted right now and this is something definitely possible so uh, you need good motivation you need good commitment and uh, at your age 22 23 24 25 whatever your age bracket is whoever is listening to this uh, you need to be a man or be a woman you're not a teenage boy or girl anymore so you need to have a good control on distractions and personal routine uh, at time we pride ourselves on consistently year after year giving uh, highest number of IM selections in the country uh, audited results this is just a snapshot uh, these are only from those IMs where the results could be validated through an independent agency uh, when the IM results were publicly available we can go and cross check and verify so uh, out of 21 only about uh, 14 odd IMs and uh, that itself is such an humongous number uh, we believe that this is doable and at time we are committed to giving you this value and if you'd like to explore more you can approach a nearest time center and plan your preparation accordingly thank you thank you so much